What's going on, everybody? I'm here to give you guys your review for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So, uh, we pick off, well, we start off, sorry, with uh, Portia's uh, meeting with her uh, counselor, which is the first time that we've seen her um, with him. Well, not the first time, but this is, it's been a while. I think we've only seen her with him once, so this is like the second time, yet paralleled is also um kenya and uh Phaedra. so they're going picking um stuff for camping and whatnot which i find to be funny they want to know like what uh can they have you know to go number two this that, third and here's the reality there are accommodations uh there there is an electric somewhat of an electrical uh you know toilet it's almost like a so serve like a portable porta john more or less just for you know a handful of people or, I mean, they got money, they can sit here, and if they know the location, have somebody, hey, put, there, put a couple of porta jars out there. It ain't the best, but it's going, it's going to work. I'm just saying, you know, just throwing that out there. But you have uh, Kenya and uh, Phaedra talking about the other night, not going to rehash it. You also have uh, Porsche talking with her counselor about the same exact thing. And, you know, even saying when dealing with uh, Kenya, she has figured out how to, um, I guess, de-escalate things with her, but Candy is that unforeseen, you know, I guess we could say, uh, person that she hasn't quite factored in, so for right now, she just walks away, and just trying to figure out um, how she's going to coexist, and you know, the guy, you know, was talking about, you know, triggers, and how do you know, bring yourself back down, and even coming up with multiple, um, situations and possible outcomes because i do that when i know that i'm possibly going to be around people that i don't really too much care for i try my best thing of every negative fucking outcome and how i will best fare in each one i, I swear i go to the like damn near the closest extreme that i possibly can to keep from going because like i said trust me i say I, I can pop it the fuck off and i really try my best not to and as that you have cynthia going to talk to matt because uh Matt apparently had a fourth incident of busting up her shit, Kenya shit, and yeah, I'm not going to talk too much about it, unless something major comes out of this, the, that portion of me talking about it will be extremely short, that's it. Alright, so Candy is throwing a uh, white party for Shamia's engagement, um, so it's not really a bachelorette party, but meh, whatever. Um, so we got Marlo, Cynthia, Lena, who is just popping up sporadically, but, you know, we're really not getting that full introduction of who she is, so she's just a friend to the cast. Um, Sheree, but no Portia. Um, uh, so Sheree, uh, well, when they're, um, I guess in a big, well, in the big group amongst everybody, Sheree feels like. That's uh, not the uh, time or place to bring up. I think she said the allegations of her and Candy. But she waits until they are more secluded uh, for, well, Candy mentions to Shamia, like, okay, well, look, this is what happened between Portia and I, and this is probably why Portia is not here. And she pretty much explains, like, look, we fell the fuck out, this is what it is. And then Sheree went so far as to bring up, well, you know, uh, Phaedra said uh, that, you know, you was going around fucking everybody's husbands. Of course, you know, she got to, you know, any dog that will carry a bone will take a bone. Y'all got to remember that now. So this is so she took the bone from over there and now she carried it over here. Pretty sure she's going to take one from over here and hold it for, you know, when she got to again. We need somebody to sit here and make these storylines transition. So while we got Sheree and Shamia is just like, OK, well, shit, you know. If that's the case, I can sit here and first and foremost, if that's the case, I would have fucked Apollo because Apollo was sitting here, you know, making passes at me, multiple passes, and I did not every last one of them. And let's not pretend like I don't know of a fake pass. Now we did not necessarily know each other, but there was the word that was on the curb. And if you guys remember um what Lanithia said about her, I put uh calling her the head doctor, that is pretty much what um Shamia was referencing, and Candy just like, mm, I ain't finna say shit. My name Bennett. I ain't in it. She wasn't finna make no fuck comments. And she's and she's at the point where it's like, you know what? It's so much shit going on. I don't need no more drama over here. 
And then, you know, of course, Shamia asks, okay, well, since Portia was there with y'all, did Portia say anything in my defense? And it was a no. And now Shamia feels some kind of way because when she, you know, even remotely said something about uh, Phaedra, of course, you know, Portia was shutting that shit smooth the fuck down. But when you're in the company of her and my name gets brought up, so you're not sitting here trying to fit me in any way, shape, or form. And that's why, and again, I, I really can't remember what reviews I say what on, so I just got to sit here and reiterate. If I've already said this review, please forgive me. But that's why when it comes to friends and whatnot, I don't do that shit. I don't let my friends, acquaintances, whatever, talk about the other. I don't do that. So if I fucks with you and I fucks with you, I made it clear. We're not going to bring up the other person while the fuck I'm sitting here. And if you feel so inclined that you still want to talk and I'm, I will get the fuck up and let you do it, I'm not going to be, no. That's not what the fuck I'm here for because we all can be adults. So she mad. I, I keep saying this. The reunion is going to be lit. It is going to be everything because these playbacks and people get caught up in what the fuck they say cannot wait so uh before i get into why i say that cynthia has finally closed on her place they discuss and when i say they kenya and her king is there and they discuss the whole mask situation ain't talking about it i told y'all i'm done I'm treating that shit like her and rashida when love and hip-hop uh atl come back on I got it. This storyline might be real. I'm hell to the no, 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 hell to the no. But anyway, so now we got Shami and Portia. Now, of course, Shami is upset. I, I wholeheartedly understand why Portia did not go, because I, I'm gonna keep it all the way to. I'll keep it one thousand with y'all, like. I've done this with many of friends where it's just like if it's people I don't fuck with, I'm not I'm I'm not coming to your shit because I do not want to be that dude that turned the fuck up at your motherfucking party, whatever the fuck it is that you having, and now you mad at me. But what I will do is I will give that friend or even family member a courtesy of knowing, hey, I'm not coming. So it's not gonna be one of those where you don't see me there and the shit seem cray. Now if somebody feels so inclined to pull the whole, can you do it for me? Then I will probably have to, it, it, depending on how volatile or how nasty of emotions I have towards other person, it might be a hell no, sorry. Or if I do, let them know as soon as shit appears to go left, I'm leaving. I will remove myself from the, from the situation. You feel what I'm saying? But I, I never want to sit here and destroy anything. Like, that's that's not me. You know what I'm saying? I can definitely be a fucking Devo and a drama king to the upteenth degree, but I refuse to make situations that's not about me, about me, and I don't like turn up people's motherfucking, you know, shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, And my thing is, for whatever reason, for those who've been around me, my energy is very um, is, uh, is effective. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those where when people are around me, my, like, it's one of those where people feed off my energy, and I can sit here and disrupt the mood like no other. And I don't like doing that. So I choose not to. So I can kind of feel what, why Portia didn't do it. But if this is your ride or die, you know, you could have at least afforded her opportunity to let her know, hey, I won't be there because, you know, at least that. Now, um, Shamir brings up the whole comment that, I, you know, Phaedra supposedly said. And Portia, like, initially is saying, I don't remember her saying that. And then, did you say anything? Well, I think I might have said some or whatever. Well, just know that you both of y'all slung them up, but you threw it first. And it's one of those ways, like, regardless of who threw whatever first, two, uh, got it. If she did, she did. But two, two, two wrongs don't make a right. But the fact that you're willing to sit here and defend a new friend and not a fucking old friend, it's problems. It's some problems, and it's a fucking problem there. And I mean, they, for what it's worth, look like they moved past it. All I'm going to say is I think that uh, Shamia let her friend off just a little bit too easy with that one. But that's her. That's their relationship. I ain't going to touch it. Okay, so um, from the looks of it, it appears that in remote locations, I guess everybody kind of like grouping up and getting ready to go on the uh, glamping 
trip. So at uh, Moore Manor, you have uh, Kenya, Cynthia, and uh, Phaedra, Cynthia, and um, Kenya makeup is what it is. Um, not for uh, Phaedra is not sure if Portia is going to show up now at you know Chateau Sheree. You have um, Sheree and Marlo, and I cannot think of her name, but the character that Naomi Campbell played on Empire that is uh, is something Bella, uh, but. Trust when I say Marlo is kind of like giving me that that like I don't know the image I don't know y'all y'all get what I'm trying to say, but over there you have that and <laughs> she has a fucking you know uh, plastic table out you know with little treats and whatnot trying to get them ready and it was one and like Portia shows up because they didn't think she was coming and Portia came um comes with um her sister Lauren. And even through a little bit of shade, uh, what did she say? Uh, said, is this a housewoman outside? I swear I nip out and fail the fuck out. Because it's one of those where you know that Sheree is probably still staying in her condo. But rather than them meeting there or meeting at another place, you know, it's one of those where we'll just, you know, I'll just let you guys see the outside, but not even see the inside. And even the stairs leading up. Still, the stairs look a little bit rough, and this ain't me trying to be shady. I'm just saying fucking damn facts. And Portia decides that she wants to talk to Sheree, and that Sheree like, well, did you really bring this up? And Sheree's just like, even though she was kind of stumbling over herself, she pretty much said she felt like it needed to come out, so that is why she shared it. And just let the truth come out, and then you have Portia saying, oh, well, you know, Sheree put me in this uh, situation, and the reality is, though Sheree was being messy, Sheree did not necessarily put her in that situation. She put herself in it. Because, now mind you, let's be clear, even if Portia would have never came back to Shami and said, well, you know, so-and-so was talking mess about you and said this, she could have easily been like, whoa, 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 that's my friend, we not gonna fucking do that. Da-da-da-da. Da-da-da-da-da. The same way she did when it was uh, Shamia talking about uh, talking about uh, Phaedra could be like da 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 da. So when it got brought up by Sheree, would have been like I did to her. I did the same exact thing. I shut that shit down. That's why I ain't fucking bring it to you. But then go on the trip. We are gonna see what comes up. Okay, so much try to pack in, <laughs> in this commercial break. Oh fuck, it's about to go off anyway. All right, so. Candy shows up to Kenya's house with Hazel. Hazel was also at the uh, all-white party. Hazel is an aspiring artist that just moved to Atlanta. Friends with all uh, Candy. Um, Phaedra ordered uh, a porta potty, a porta john, which I'm happy for. You know, I- I'm glad she kind of read my mind, even though this shit was already fucking taped and shit. Um, Portia, Lauren, and Sheree decide they want to kind of run down to uh, more matter to see if. Uh, Phaedra is there because, you know, Portia feels kind of way because Phaedra should have already been at, you know, Chateau Sheree. Messiness. And, um, so they're all on the bus and whatnot. And it's a whole lot of cattiness. Um, the first night is going to be roughing it. The uh, second night is going to, or the second day is going to be getting all glammed up and whatnot. Um, what is her name? Uh, Marlo pretty much says, okay, well, Plus, you know, y- if y'all want to, you know, y'all can not ask, you know, Marlo questions about men, fashion, this, that, and the third. So, Hazel is sitting right next to Kenya, and Hazel asks, okay, so why are we asking her? Kenya laughs, so Kenya's like, okay, well, look, she just wants to know why. And, you know, Marlo, lo- long story short, that's Marlo's lane, but Marlo, who shades on my some, you know, like I said, if I need a skincare advice, I would ask you, because you're very pretty. I'm just like, oh my gosh, the pettiness. So, uh, I forget who, but somebody had asked why Lauren is there. And, you know, Porsche could have just said, you know, I thought I thought that it would be nice for my sister to get out, you know, seeing as how she doesn't always have a lot of time to get away with, you know, because she is a mother. Clever, right the fuck that bit eat, but no, I have a doctor's note, almost like, just like, you know, that little slip that, you know, you need to take to class and all this other shit. I'm like... So now they just want to sit here and cause a whole lot of mess and a whole lot of fucking drama again. This is one of those wishes. 
It's simple shit you can say to deflect without having to sit here and go deep in detail. The same as that time. We got to remember, people, it's 2017. You don't owe nobody no fucking explanations about your life. But again, same as that time. If you put it out there, don't be upset when somebody comments on it. <laughs> oh, shit. Next week is going to be so fucking messy. And it's going to be uh, Barlow that is going to pop the shit off. So fucking hilarious. All right, so. We're not here to talk about next week, all right? So pretty much it it ultimately ends with um, pretty much everybody having something to say um, about Portia because, again, this is one of those where she kind of opened the door. Like, I, like like you guys heard me say, and again, like I said, and I need and I need to answer, I need to reply to all of the comments from the last couple of days. Like I said, y'all know I've been studying shit, but it's damn bored or whatnot. But it's one of those where we, like I said, we're all not going to agree. We're, we're not. And as long as we can respectfully agree to disagree, then we're good. Because again, most of y'all who watch me happen to be female. I am a guy, so my outlook on shit is naturally going to fucking be different. But as I said, coming from somebody that has anger issues and has been known to snap, and I can, and here's the thing I've been told by a friend, my friend Camille will tell me. When she and I lived together, she was like, you have, you are a light switch personality where there may be a transition from one emotion to the next, but we out here can't see it. So the transition may happen on the inside, but damn it, you can go from being happy to being fucking irate like this. You can go from being, you know, sad to being joy. Like, it's like your emotions are like a fucking light switch. You are here and you are there. As quick as the lights come on and go off is how your emotions are. And knowing that I know how to move about things, and if I decide to allow myself to be in such a uh, in a situation or area where things can go left, I know how to do the mental gymnastics. And at the same as that time, this is a job. Let let's be very fucking clear. This is not married to medicine. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of these scenes are very very fucking contrived. Now the drama that ensues in the midst of it is what it is, but these scenes are very fucking contrived. I think we all can agree on that. But what I'm getting at is this. Like, when I'm at work, I am very, very fucking professional. A lot of motherfuckers don't know that I have issues with certain fucking people. Why? Because they don't need to know. And I have people that, you know, I'm supposed to lead. So, I need, and me being 30 and being, you know, out of a lot of people that I work with, I'm one of the oldest. I'm not the oldest. There's handful but you know i'm like i'm up there so i have to be that example so some of them know i don't fuck with this person over here or that person over there or that person over there but though they may know it if you were on the outside looking in you can never tell because i'm that fucking good when we're at work and when certain things come up i either i know how i will either shut it down or i know how to sit here and deflect or i know how to sit here and go over here with the conversation and we forget that we was the fuck over here and I know how to give just enough to get you off my back or just to not even mention anything. But the fact that she brought up anger management and not just that, but had a fucking slip from her therapist. That right there saved away and everybody going in. Everybody having something to say. She said she felt attacked. And here's the thing. That's how she felt. You cannot sit here and condemn somebody or come at them because of how they feel and how they fucking perceive something. You can't. Now, if they just said, you did this, hey, now, it was one with me. Now, if you say, this was said, and I felt attacked, again, but when, but again, y'all get what the fuck I'm saying, though. And they pretty much kind of went in, you know, and she said, Kenya popped it off. Of course, Kenya had her bit to say this, that, and the third. And, of course, Lauren, being a sister, jumped in to help out. And it is what it is. And, uh, Phaedra may mention that we ain't even left the city limits, and they already fucking bickering. That's pretty much where it ends, and it seems like next week, Marlo is going to be the one to bring the bullshit. And that one comment about the fact that somebody's own mama don't like that, I'm like, oh. There are a few things that would cause me to get out of my seat, lose my cool, put some hands on somebody, but some shit like that will probably be it, even though it's fucked up to speak of a situation you don't know nothing about. But, of course, can you put it out there? So, it, as it's fair game, 
But then that's one of those where whatever dirt Kenya got on Marlo, I hope and pray she puts that shit out there. Because at that point, I was fair in love and war. So that's all I got you guys. Thank you so, guys so, so much for watching. As I said on American Medicine Review, the chances of you guys getting a love and hip hop review tomorrow is slim to none. Like I said, I have a board that I have to attend at 9 o'clock, to, uh, not tomorrow, 9 o'clock on Tuesday. And I won't be able to get my uniform out of the cleaners until Tuesday morning at 7.30. So that's going to be one of those where I'm heading straight there, getting that uniform, taking my awards off of this uniform, literally, to transfer over, put that shit on, make sure all of this is GTG, memory good, and to go in there and hopefully what was what was lost last year and what was in my hands and was taken away of a technicality. And I'll talk about that momentarily. Hopefully, a wrong will be righted. And then hopefully, as early as March, I will be out of this into a better location. So, all of that to say, I'm probably not going to give you guys a review on Monday. Because I am going to need all the rest and relaxation that I can get before going to this board. But, of course, you will get the review. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly, truly do love all of you. Thank you for giving me your time. Uh, please rate comment subscribe and share and i will see you guys uh for love hip hop on uh, new york it just won't be monday peace <laughs>